This week on My Classic Car, we'll make our way to Gloversville, New York to check out a couple of Euro classics, a 47 Alfa Romeo and a 62 Aston Martin DB4. These babies were built for the road and boy, are they a blast to drive. Plus, we'll look at replacement radiators for your ride. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in Gloversville, New York, to take a look at a couple of the cars in the collection of Jim Taylor. Now, Jim's got one of the more diverse and stunning car collections I've ever seen. And believe me, it was not easy to narrow it down to just two cars to focus on. <laughs> what do you say we get around to take a look at a few that didn't make the cut? Jim, this is an incredible collection you, you have here, and it's probably one of the most diverse ones I've ever seen. Everything from like uh, camping vehicles to, to Ferraris, uh, yeah. maybe a fire truck thrown in here and there just for fun. <laughs> what, uh, you know, what started it all for you? Have you been a car guy your whole life? Pretty much. I, I started collecting die-cast dinky toys in the UK when I was a kid and uh, graduated to a Model A Ford that I drove in high school that I still have. Still it's in the collection? Back, in the, <laughs> back, back part of the garage. <laughs> And then it just kind of grew from there? It's just It grew over the years as I could afford to buy different cars. I started to collect and, uh, and it's grown. I'm 63 years old tomorrow and I've been buying cars all my life. And it doesn't, doesn't look like you're going to stop anytime soon if I if I well, <laughs> I may outgrow this garage, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, and you, and you sort of have. I mean, you've, you've launched a museum, haven't you? You're part of a museum? Yeah, in Saratoga, we started, uh, Saratoga Springs, New York, we started a museum five years ago, five of us, and uh, it's turned out to be a real labor of love and it's, uh, we've actually got a lot of publicity. We've done some great shows. We got a barn find show starting next Saturday for three months and that should be a real great show. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Well, so you've got great cars here, great cars there. Yeah. These are everywhere, right? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> well, you've, you've pulled out, and again, eclectic collection, but you've pulled out a couple really cool Euro gems here. Right. We'll start with, uh, with this one, which I've never seen one of these. This is a 47 Alfa Romeo, right? Right, yep. I, it's the biggest Alfa Romeo I've ever seen. Well, if they gave a prize for the biggest Alfa, this might this, win. This would be it. <laughs> well, what's the story of this car? Where did you, where'd you first come across one of these? I first saw this in a movie with George C. Scott. One either a car, this car, or one like it, and I fell in love with the car. And uh, I walked to an auction several years ago, and this was sitting there, and I had no idea what the value was. I asked around, got an idea, indication of value, and I bid on it, and here it is. And, and, and then the rest, as I say, yeah. it was history. Right. Well, there can't be too many of them, because I've never seen one. I've never seen uh, the long-bodied one like this. There's a few, I've seen a few shorter-bodied ones. Uh -huh. But never the long body. they call this an SS, um, five-seater convertible. Three in the front, two in the back. So it's a very it's a very wide front seat. Right. And I guess the the back seat's narrower because of the convertible top, right? The, you got it, right. Wow. Yep. So that yeah, it is set up for, for three and two. Yep. Well the interior is I mean it's so art deco. Right. Uh, you the know, Bakelite yeah. just uh, blow you away. It's 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 plastics. Plastics, right. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. And the colors too though. I mean it is so art deco. Uh, and is it I mean it's a column shift? Column shift, four speed on the tree. A four on the tree. Four on the tree, yeah. So it's an H pattern with a reverse thrown in someplace. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Man, it, it, and it's a pretty big car. It's a pretty long car. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, so it's really not a sports car. It's really no, kind of a sport no, touring. It's a touring car. It's a great car for Sunday afternoon with two couples and a bottle of wine, some cheese, and picnic loaf basket. of bread. Yep, yeah, you got it. Well, very smooth lines, very, yeah. like you say, Art Deco. Right. Um, but probably pre-war really in its under the skin technology, right? Most everything under under the metal on here has got to be pre-war. 
Because I don't think the Italians are doing much right after No, <laughs> they were regrouping. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but I do love the lines, and it's very smooth, and it, it, would it have not had a bumper? Well, I, would it have I'm had sure it. it had a bumper, but I, I got it this way, and I haven't done anything to change yeah, it. Well, it, 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 you know, it's very clean, and it's such a clean yeah. car to begin with. I like the dual latches. Yeah. It's beautiful. Now, what 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 model is it? What do they call this? It's a 6C2500. Which uh, really is an engine designation, they, right? Yeah, and they called it a SS, five-seater SS convertible, as far as I know, Super Sport. Wow. Some so six cylinder, six C, six cylinder, right. 2500 CC, right. right? You got it. Well, yep. Let's look at it. Okay. Open her up. Oh, and it's one of those uh, hood opens either side. Right. Oh, that's nice. Well, yeah, that's not a very big engine, is it? Dual overhead cam. Yeah, not for the size of the car. No, I'll say. Downdraft Weber. Yeah, I bet it, um, does it labor a little bit to move this around? Or is, is, again, it's more of a touring car. It works. It works. <laughs> 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 well, and, and all your cars pretty much work. They're all drivable, yeah. right? Yeah. You keep them all licensed they, they and do. registered and everything. Yeah. And we could probably even, I don't know, we could take this one out. If you can drive four on the tree, Dennis, you're welcome. Uh, well, then, <laughs> then thank you, I'll try it. <laughs> all right. It'll be a new experience. <laughs> And from this side, too, I love a challenge. Coming up, we'll go for a spin in Jim Taylor's 47 Alfa Romeo. But first, we'll look at replacement radiators for your ride. My Classic Car is brought to you by Grundy Worldwide Collector Car Insurance. Well, I'm in the shop today with my good buddy Rick Schmidt from National Parts Depot. Rick, great to see you again, man. Great to see you too, Dennis. So, uh, what's on your mind today? Well, <laughs> would, would it be something to do with radiators? Obviously, I'm, uh, <laughs> we're talking about radiators today, but this is a departure from what we would normally be talking about with NPD. It's not just about the classic cars that we normally service. We've started a new uh, e-commerce website called npdcool.com. Our, our customer base are primarily do-it-yourselfers. Yeah, sure. The kinds of guys that if they... They're playing with their classic cars, yeah. they're wrenching here, they're right. wrenching there. And if you, and whenever you get into a fender bender, especially if you ever have any front end damage, it's nine times out of ten, the radiator is going to get chewed. Time for a new radiator. Yeah. And, and our customers are the types of people who fix their own cars. Or for if any reason your radiator springs a leak, they're going to change it themselves. So like whether it's their whether it's their Chevelle or it's their, 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 their Taurus or their Volvo, they're going to still fix it, right? Right, right, right. So we're thinking to ourselves, we, we've got the customer base, we've got the contacts with all of these radiator manufacturers. Let's bring it all we together. Have, let's bring it all together. And we got into the radiator business. So, so it isn't just classic car radiators, which I mean, you guys are known for the classic car restoration and parts and all that, but this is beyond? Classic cars and beyond? Way beyond. We are ex uh, carrying an extensive selection that goes all the way back into the early 60s for some applications and spreads all the way to current. Wow. All imports and domestic, light trucks, automobiles, you name oh. it, we're going to stock a radiator. And we're not only going to stock... Single brand or what do you... I mean, you got... what? Do you That's the other thing is that we offer our, our customers choices. If you go to shop for a radiator online right now, I'll tell you what you're going to find. You're going to drill down through your year, make, and model and, and this the is the one we give you. The website is going to toss you one mm -hmm. choice, take it or leave it. With uh, NPD, once you drill down, it's the same very easy process. You just choose your make, your model, yeah. your year, your engine, and now you have a choice of listings. You can choose a, you can choose a two row or a three row in many cases. You can choose one that has the oil cooler for your automatic transmission. Mm -hmm. There's a, you may have a heavy-duty cooling option on your automobile that requires a different radiator. We've got all those choices covered, and we've got name brands such yeah. as Modine and Visteon that you can purchase, or you can go with our NPD Choice brand, which is kind of our house brand that we've brought in that, that gives you an, an OE quality radiator at a and more that's affordable what price. That's what this one right here is in front of you. Very yeah. high quality radiator. And really kind of, I mean, it's the latest, greatest in radiator technology. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an OE quality yeah. radiator here. Now, the, for the classic car guys, don't be scared that we're going to send you an aluminum plastic radiator to drop into your 72 Olds 98. We also, we carry the, the correct the copper correct brass thing, radiators for the, uh, for the appropriate cars from the 70s and 60s now, as well. Now, I mean, one of, the, one of the things about NPD has always been that you get it quick because you guys stock everything. You're talking about an awful lot of radiators at Rick. An awful lot of radiators. Do you, do you Over 8,000 applications, we stock them all. Oh, we nice. stock them all and we stock them in all 
three of our different uh, of wow. our different lines: Visteon, Modine, and the NPD Choice. In all your all your centers, or no? That's something I need to make clear. This is a, this is a, a uh, e-commerce website. All the radiators are stocked in our North Carolina warehouse. We ship all online orders within 24 hours, mm. and shipping to the lower 48 states, UPS ground is free. Whoa. So, so it doesn't matter if, the price you, you see is if the you're ordering price. from Oregon, Florida, Maine, Massachusetts, the price for the radiator you see online is the price you're going to be charged. Man. UPS is free and it'll get to you fast. All I can say is cool. Yeah, it's NPD cool. Dot right. <laughs> <laughs> com, hey. <laughs> well, hey, if you want to learn anything more about this really interesting e-commerce uh, radiator program from National Parts Depot, log on to myclassicart.com. Now, that 56 Lincoln Premier, you got one for that? Oh, that's going pretty far back. <laughs> if I've got one, I need it's to sell right. it, obviously. <laughs> Visit eastwoodgarage.com, the premier website for unique vehicle restoration tools and supplies. Next, we'll cruise the roads of Gloversville, New York in a really cool 47 Alfa Romeo. Welcome back to My Classic Car. the sound of it. A four on the tree though, that is I with know. your left hand. I know. <laughs> And it's an interesting configuration, the, the five-seater, but three in front, two in back. Right. And I guess the back is squeezed because of uh, the, the convertible top? Hey, well, the bows? That's what Probably, it is, yeah. yeah. It's like the engine works a little bit to pull this body around. Yeah. I think most of the underneath of this car is all pre-war. So, I mean, it's probably a pretty heavy car yeah. for a, a 2.5 liter engine to be yeah. pulling around. Yeah. This is probably the only car that went to Mia Island two years in a row. Really? Yes. Because I had it there the one year, and then the next year, Alpha was the marquee. And Bill Warner called me and said, can you bring that ass in back again? Bring it back, huh? And it was a hit two years in a row. Yeah. Well, it's so distinctive looking. Like I said, if, if they gave an award for the biggest Alpha, <laughs> this would win it. <laughs> Got to be the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> I love Italian cars, and this Alpha's been a blast, but I really kind of want to get back and take a closer look at that, that Aston Martin. That DB4 is calling out to me. What do you say? Well, you're going to love that. That's a, <laughs> certainly a different car than this. <laughs> Can't wait. We're rolling home. Need parts for your classic? Then check out this week's Classic Car Marketplace. LMC Truck has the parts and accessories you need to restore or customize your truck or SUV. Chevy, GMC, Dodge, and Ford. Order your free catalog today by calling 1-800-715-8123. Be sure to specify your year, make, and model. Or shop online at lmctruck.com. LMC Truck has the right part at the right price right now. If you're restoring a classic GM car or truck, Classic Industries has the largest inventory of original and reproduction parts and accessories in the business. Call 888-GM-CATALOG to get the catalog of your choice or go online to ClassicIndustries.com and start shopping today. See why Classic Industries is America's first choice in GM restoration and performance parts and accessories. Coker Tire is the world's largest supplier of tires and wheels for nostalgic hot rods, collector classics, muscle cars, vintage European, and antique motorcycles. Call 1-800-251-6336 or visit coker.com today to receive a copy of our free catalog. Still ahead, we'll check out Jim Taylor's 62 Aston Martin DB4 in Gloversville, New York. Welcome back to My Classic Car. 
four speed on the tree. A four on the tree. That was an experience, I got to tell you. Well, if you like that, you're going to love this. <laughs> oh, I know I am because I've always loved Aston Martins. And this this is a, a DB4, a 62? 62, 62 Series 1 DB4. Man, in Aston Martins racing color, That's too. right. Yep. I mean, so this yep. is the real deal here. This is the deal, yeah. Man. Is these are such sexy looking cars. They just they, they just look sleek, they look strong. This is a fabulous car. <laughs> and you're kind of an Aston Martin guy. I love Aston Martin. <laughs> I, that was one of my first loves and uh, I'd always lust it after a DB3S, but I probably will never have one, Cha -ching. but uh, <laughs> I don't know. If, if I somebody know has one they'd like to give me, I'm here. <laughs> say, right. Call now, right. operators are standing right, by. Right, you got it. <laughs> now this one, how long have you had this baby? I've had this four or five years. And where'd you find it? it, was it I, f I was at an auction, and uh, I was the last guy standing at the end of the auction. This was one of the last cars. And everybody had left. And everybody uh, left it. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, it looks, it, it's got flared fenders, which I don't remember them having. It, it sticks out. Well, somebody did that to this car, and they, I think maybe they might have raced this car at some point. And I've left it the way it is. I kind of like the look. Oh, I think it looks um, tough. I think it looks great. Um, a purist would probably give me... Some stuff over it, but, but but it's your car. But it's my car. <laughs> <laughs> so there. Well, these are they're, they're sleek, and you know, compared to the uh, the Alpha, this is a this is a, a very low car. Right. I mean, the Alpha, you could you were sitting up there, yeah. but you almost have even to look in this, yeah. we've got to yeah. come down here. Yeah. But it is all race in there, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's really it's a sports car. You got it. This is ready to go. And it actually has a back seat. It does. You know, I'm I'm surprised yeah. at that. And it's in you could actually put a couple reasonable size people back there mm -hmm. and very nice you know it looks like a pretty cushy it's a comfortable car cushy interior and it's a great car to drive and like like uh the brits were always good at, at working leg room into yes. small cockpits yeah. and you're a big guy you're like six yeah. four six three something like that yeah. this car i actually have to move the seat up a couple inches from this far back wow which is <laughs> one of the few cars i get it like have to do that. <laughs> yeah there are probably aren't many of them but I love the lines, and I, just, I love the rear end of these cars. They just come back very yeah. short, but the you know these little fins yeah. look so cool. And almost Frenched in taillights. It's almost yeah. a street rotter thing that they, they did here. Yeah. But it's a tough-looking car. It's a fabulous car. I always loved the, uh, the Aston Martin Insignia, too. Just, it, you know, even that. Steel wings. It looks like it means yeah. business right from the start. So this car also has a, an inline six-cylinder engine, but probably... A lot bigger than a the little Alpha. bit bigger, a little than, bit bigger the, than, than the Alpha. Let, yeah. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, gonna pull that latch. Okay, there. yeah, I that see was... it. Oh yeah. But again, pretty straightforward. I mean, yeah. it's all right there. Dual overhead cam, a yeah. couple big SU carburetors. Yeah. And it's these old. are these are strong cars. This is a strong car. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's got everything you want for this size car. Um, and you pretty much, I mean, you drive pretty much all your cars, don't you? We drive them. We try to drive them all. And uh, this is one of the more favored cars, I think. The guys in the shop would just soon drive this as anything. <laughs> and, uh, well, I, you know, here again, uh, I say we take it out and exercise it. If they, always, they all need exercise. If today's probably a yeah. good day for that. Today's a great day. Yeah, so. you mind if I drive this one, too? Yeah, but do I have to ride it? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't killed anybody. It's been a while, you know. Close her up. Let's go. <laughs> and stop whining. <laughs> Stay close, we're going for a ride in Jim Taylor's 62 Aston Martin DB4. Brought to you by Grundy Worldwide Collector Car Insurance. And by You Coat It, the official floor coating of Eastwood Garage. Welcome back to My Classic Car. I think the more you look at it, the more you see in it. 
Absolutely. The, the color, I think the color of this car is just perfect for this car too. Yeah. Man, she runs so cool. Assuming the gauge is right. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I hope the gauge is right. <laughs> well, that you know, with all the cars you have, that's a that's an issue. You know, it keeping is an everything issue. working and knowing that it's accurate and yeah, it's a real issue. And getting into a car, as I think probably most collectors do, you have to really re-educate yourself where everything is because nothing's standard on a car. Oh, absolutely. And then you go through this pre-flight checklist. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yep. Brakes, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Radiator, yep. Yeah. And it looks, you know, from the inside, it looks like it, it has a very short nose. But from the outside, it doesn't look that yeah. short. It must really drop off. The visibility is fabulous in this car. It would be a good, it would be a good one to race. You can certainly see what's going on. Oh man, what a blast! Jim has got some awesome cars, and this Aston Martin DB4 was one of the better rides I've had in a long time. Jim, would you mind? You've got so many cool cars. Maybe I could come back sometime? Anytime, Dennis. Ooh, and he says I can come back. We'll see you back at Jim's one of these days again. Next week, we'll travel to Anchorage, Alaska for the largest car show in the last frontier. Granted, it's a little out of the way, but that doesn't mean they don't have some pretty sweet machines up there. Plus, we'll talk about lens replacement options for your classic. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. Attention My Classic Car fans, go online now to check out our latest selection of DVDs. Order the MCC Legendary Fords, Legendary Chevys, or Legendary Mopars, or order the GM Special Vehicles Collection. Just can't get enough MCC? Now you can download your favorite MCC episodes from our website, or get all 26 episodes from a 2008 season in one DVD set.